Dr. William Davis here, author of The Wheat Belly and Undoctored Books. A frequent question I get is, I don't have a gallbladder, can I still follow the Wheat Belly high fat lifestyle? Because that's what we do in the Wheat Belly lifestyle. We increase our fat content and eliminate grains and sugars. Well, uh, so a common situation is this. You have your gallbladder removed, you start eating again, but you find that and when you try to up your fat, you get diarrhea, bloating, excessive gas, you don't feel good, right? And the doctor, the surgeon who took your gallbladder out probably told you to follow a low-fat diet. And you may also have memories of how awful you felt when you consumed fat when you had gallstones. Now, people often misinterpret that to mean that fat caused the gallstones. No, that's not what it means. What it means is other factors cause the gallstones to form. But once you eat fat, when you have gallstones, the gallbladder wants to release its bile in the bile duct, but there's a stone in the bile duct and so there's pressure buildup in the gallbladder. It's very painful, these gallbladder attacks. But it gives you this sense that fat is therefore bad, but it's not bad. So what's the story when after a gallbladder removal, you have this apparent difficulty in consuming fats? Well, it's not the, the lack of bile, because your liver has been producing bile all along. It just doesn't have a gallbladder to store it in. Okay? It just trickles it out continuously into the duodenum. So when a person after a gallbladder removal seems to be intolerant of fat, it's from SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. If you got gallstones, you've had decades of unhealthy gastrointestinal problems, and among them are SIBO, okay? That's a situation where bacteria, unhealthy bacteria that you don't want, have ascended up from the colon, up into the ileum, jejunum, duodenum, and stomach, a 20-some foot long infection of the upper GI tract. And what that does when you ingest fat is it causes what's called bile acid malabsorption, bile acid diarrhea, okay? So the cause is not fat. Fat, once again, just unmasks the presence of this other problem, SIBO. So the key here is to address the SIBO. Now, we do that in our undoctored uh, blog. There's some videos about this issue there, also in Wheat Belly blog, and we dive deeply in how to identify, manage, and prevent recurrences in our undoctored inner circle. <clears throat> but recognize that difficult with fats after a gallbladder removal is not due to lack of bile. It's not because there's something intrinsically wrong with fat. It's because you have SIBO. Address the SIBO.